The Chinese embassy in the Gambia on Wednesday hosted an event for young people to connect with Chinese astronauts on the Chinese space station. The event was held in response to the growing interest in space exploration among African youth. Many young people in Africa dream of one day traveling to space, and the Chinese embassy wanted to support this ambition. The event invited Gambian teenagers to submit drawings depicting their dreams. The embassy awarded certificates to the participants who took part in the drawing competition. At the event, Chinese Ambassador to the Gambia, His Excellency Liu Jing, said that the dreams painted by the participants are of great importance to the Gambia's future. Yeah, the theme of this year's event is my dream. Yeah, I think it's a very good uh, uh, theme. Yeah. The astronaut's theme is to explore the space for the benefits of the mankind, for our future. Yeah. What is your dream? Yeah. Uh, yesterday, uh, I looked at all these uh, paintings. Yeah, the, the paintings. Uh, I'm deeply impressed. Yeah, I'm deeply impressed. Uh, someone want to be the doctors. Yeah, someone want to be the uh, teachers, scientists, businessmen. Uh, someone want to involve in uh, charity affairs in the future. Someone want to develop the uh, agriculture technology. Yeah, uh, I think whatever you do in the future, yeah, it will contribute to the society. Yeah, benefit your uh, benefit the, the people, not only bring glories to your family members, yeah, benefit the people and build your beautiful nations. Yeah, I think this is your dream. Yeah, I remi it reminds me of my dream. Yeah, uh, when I was young, my dream is to be a teacher. Yeah, I, I found you are, uh, some of you are, are teachers, I think, not only students, but some of you are teachers. Yeah, yeah because my, uh, my, you know, in China, we have a large family. China is a which a large population of 1.4 billion. So uh, my, my family is a large family. Uh, some of my relatives are teachers, so I was deeply influenced by them. So, but uh, uh, finally, uh, I, I become a, 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 diplomat, a diplomat. But uh, I found that there's uh, some similarities uh, between the uh, uh, teacher and the diplomats. Uh, the same is that uh, it needs to communicate with others, make friends with others, like ambassador here. Yeah, it's my responsibility to uh, contact with people from all walks of life, yeah, to communi communicate with you, share our friendship, Chinese people's friendship to the Gambians, yeah, to promote our bilateral relations. So my mission is my dream, or I can say my dream is my mission. Yeah. Ambassador Li Yuji went on to tell the participants that their dreams are an integral part of the bilateral relationship between China and the Gambia. What you want to be, yeah, doctors, teachers, or whatever, yeah, yeah, uh, agriculture experts, all, all these jobs is related to our bilateral relations. For example, the medical, uh, the, the medical uh, service, uh, uh, agriculture, uh, business, uh, education, all, the, all of this is the priority of our bilateral exchange and the cooperation. This is what we want to promote. For example, uh, like in the uh, public service uh, uh, cooperation, from 1970s, a Chinese uh, government sent, uh, I think, around 300 Chinese doctors to the Gambia, yeah, helping Gambian people. Uh, when I talk with uh, some uh, uh, Gambian friends over 40 or 50 years old, they can still remember their, uh, their experience to be treated by Chinese doctors. Yeah, they, they told me the stories. Uh, like in uh, agriculture cooperation, Chinese expert team are now are in, in Gambia, in Cebu. Yeah, they are based in Cebu. They have produced two uh, hybrid rice uh, varieties. Uh, it, uh, they are certificated by the agricultural ministries. I think it will be benefits for your zero hunger goals yeah, to realize the dream of your food sufficiency. Uh, like in May 2023, the Secretariat of the Chinese Follow-up Committee of the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation and the China Man Space Engineering Office co-hosted a painting competition on the theme of My Dream. The winner of the competition, Blessing John Asweji, says visiting space has been a childhood dream for him, which is why he participated in the painting competition to showcase his talent. So, and I had the privilege of submitting my painting that represents my dream of exploring the vast universe. Uh, since my childhood, I've been, I've been captivated with the mysteries of outer space, the twinkling stars, and the endless possibilities that lie beyond um, our atmosphere. This passion has driven me into computer science and design, as I constant, uh, constantly seek knowledge and delve into the wonders of the universe. 
Uh, the competition has not only provided a platform of, for African youths to express their dreams, but has also fostered cultural exchange between China and Africa. Uh, the collaboration between our nation in promoting space exploration is a testament of the power of unity and shared aspiration. It is through initiatives like these that we can inspire generations to come and pave the way for a brighter future. Several of the participants in the drawing competition also shared what inspired them to participate in the event. I, I always dream of accountants, accountancy since childhood. Accountant, accounting is something I love so much. As one American businessman said, financial education is more powerful than money, which I stand with. In our country, there are many different careers. Most of our careers interests include doctors, nurses, teachers, lawyers, etc. But there is another career that is very important to a country, and that is a career in agriculture. When I my dream is to be a doctor. It is my childhood dream that I want to become a doctor. I mean, it's a noble profession that you can always associate with patients and treat them. As my mom always advised me, never to forget to serve humanity out of respect and kindness. I am quite optimistic that I will make my dreams come true. As of 2023, 18 Chinese astronauts had traveled to space. The Shenzhou 15 spacecraft carrying three astronauts returned to Earth after completing a six-month mission to build China's space station. They were replaced by three new astronauts, including China's four civilians, who will stay in the station for five months. Reporting for Kerfatu, I am Landin Sise.